Good morning, church. Good morning. Welcome to Mother's Day. Woohoo! Right, today's a day that we celebrate the women in our lives. Sometimes it's a mom, sometimes it's a stepmom, sometimes it's an aunt, sometimes it's a sister. So we honor all the women in our lives, right? Because the women play such an important role in our lives, right? And it's not an exaggeration to say that none of us would be here today if it wasn't for our birth months. We also recognize that there are those in attendance today who struggled in their relationship with their moms or stepmoms. And <clears throat> they've struggled through the process of becoming a mom themselves. This day isn't without pain for some as we highlight motherhood. And to you, I pray that you would know your struggle is not in vain. Some of us have lost moms. Some of us haven't yet. And they've played important roles in our lives. But I want you to know that God sees you. God hears you. He hears every prayer that you say. And he holds every tear. Because God loves each one of us. And it's because of God's great love that goes all the way back to the book of Genesis, that we meet the very first mother of all mankind, Eve. When God looked at Adam, he knew that Adam was incomplete and that he needed a wife. And consequently, mankind received our first mother. And now, hundreds of generations later, we need our moms today just as much as we ever had throughout our history. As we think about the, the important parts that our mothers plays in our lives, we're going to look at four specific ways that we can honor our moms and celebrate the unique roles that they play in our families, our churches, and in our communities. Now, being a mom isn't about just cooking great food, right? Or helping with homework or driving kids to sporting events. Although we'd be remiss if we ignored the sheer amount of time that mom gives to other people in her service to them. In fact, here are five facts about how moms use their time every week. Right? So, a survey by the Bureau of Labor Statistics says this. Moms spend an average of 14 hours per week on household chores, such as cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Right? Number two, Pew Research Center says that mothers spend an average of six hours per week driving their kids to activities and appointments. That's a lot of time, right? Third, moms spend over four and a half hours per week helping their children with homework, according to the National Center for Educational Statistics. Fourth, moms spend just under three hours per week volunteering in their children's schools. That's also by a National Center for Educational Statistics. And fifth, and, and not least, moms spend an average of seven hours per week caring for their children, including playing with them, reading with them, and helping them with their personal care. That's according to Pew Research Center also. Boy, that's a lot of time every week, and it doesn't even include phone calls, emails, conversations that have every single week when you have children. All that to say that me being a mother is a very intense job, right? And as most moms know, it doesn't pay very well either. And most of the time when our kids are younger, there's very little gratitude or recognition for the job that is done. Which only means that we need to take time today in every day of our lives to honor our moms for all that they have done in our lives. Now, when we talk about <coughs> honor in the Bible, it means to esteem, value, or have great respect for. So to honor someone is to value them highly or bestow upon them very much value and importance. So, as I've already mentioned, we're going to look at ways that we can honor, esteem, value, and respect our moms. 
the first thing we need to do is honor our moms with respect. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12 says this, Honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. And to complement that, in the book of Ephesians, Paul writes in chapter 6, verses 2 and 3, he says, Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise so that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. Those two passages are pretty, you know, it says the same thing, right? The Bible commands us to honor our parents. And our moms are one of our parents, right? And one way that we can honor our moms is by showing them or her respect. We should speak kindly to our moms and politely. And we should listen to our moms when they speak. Even if we disagree with our moms, we can do it in a respectful manner. This means that we avoid harsh or hurtful words and instead show love and respect that our moms deserve and they've earned over the years. We need to honor our mom's wishes, ideas, and dreams. Right? Respect our mom to the point of even if we disagree with her, we can still honor and respect our moms. Next, we need to honor our moms with our tithe, right? Ephesians 5, 15 through 17 says, be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand that the will of the Lord is. Time is undoubtedly our most valuable asset, right? We can make more money. We can buy more things. We can learn more skills or we can earn more degrees and put more pieces of paper up on our walls. But the one thing we cannot ever do is make more time. There's seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day. We can't add to that. So we can honor our moms by spending time with her. We should make an effort to visit our moms when we can. Call them when we can't go visit and spend whatever time that we can with her. We should be willing to help our moms when she needs it. Whether it's with household chores, like she did for us when we were kids, or a listening ear. By giving our time and attention to our mothers, we show them that they are important to us and that we value their presence in our life. After all, if time is our most valuable possession, right? What better way to spend it than on one of the most important and valuable relationships that we'll ever make in our lifetimes? The next thing we need to do is honor our moms with love. John 13, 34 says, I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I loved you. You also should love one another. And that includes our moms, right? The Bible tells us our moms deserve our honor our love, and our respect. We, do, we should express our love for mom in both our words and in our actions. We can tell our moms how much we love her and appreciate her. And then we can show our love by doing things for them that make them happy. Like for instance, for my mom, I'm her IT person. That's pretty funny because I know enough about computers to get myself in trouble. But when I go over to visit my mom, she always has a computer problem which is good because I get a chance to help her and, and to fix it for her so that she can continue doing what she does. And one of the most fabulous things my mom loves to do is genealogy. She'll spend hours every single day looking for relatives and how they fit in with our family in the past and who they're related to and all that kind of stuff. And that's what she enjoys doing. And so it gives me joy when I get to help her in some way. But you see, there are a lot of different things that we can do to show our love, right? It might include buying a thoughtful gift. Maybe it's our turn to cook a special meal for our moms or just spending quality time with her. And, and you get to learn your mom's love language, right? Quality time, acts of service, words of affirmation, gifts, or even just a hug. By showering our moms with love, 
we not only honor them, but we also fulfill God's commandment to love one another. Which brings me to my last point. We need to honor our moms in our mom's sacrifice. Right? 1 John 3.16 says, We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and our sisters. So today we're going to change that last part of it, and we're going to say, and we ought to lay down our lives for our mothers and to sacrifice to make our moms happy. When, here we are learning about laying our lives down for others, right? When I think about the moms I know personally, the word sacrifice comes to mind. To be a mom is to be somebody who sacrifices for others. Here are some ways that moms commonly sacrifice for other people. Right? First off, they give of their time. When, when our kids are younger, moms often prioritize their children's needs over their own, sacrificing their personal time to take care of the children. Right? This includes, it might mean to stay up late finishing chores, right? doing dishes, waking up early to prepare breakfast, or taking time off work to care for a sick child, or spending hours of time doing homework that they probably don't even know how to do, right? The second thing moms usually do is they put their own dreams on hold. Many moms put their own ambitions and goals on hold to focus on raising their children. This could include postponing their education, education, postponing career advancement, or other personal aspirations like travel or stuff like that. And next, Moms sacrifice financially, right? They would rather take care of the kids and provide something that the kids need than something that they need or want, right? This includes cutting back on personal expenses. Sometimes moms have to work multiple jobs or give up their career to be a stay-at-home mom. Next, moms give up emotional labor, right? Moms often carry the, the emotional burdens of the family and managing the family and the relationships, right? This includes managing conflicts, mediating disputes with their siblings or, or with the dad, right? And providing emotional support to their children and their spouses. And finally, mom sacrifice physical labor. They offer take on the physical demands of caring for their family, such as cooking, cleaning, laundry, Sometimes it means going out and mowing the lawn, even when their allergies are acting up, or going grocery shopping, or doing something else and giving up their time away from what they want to be doing. Right? Being a mom is a full-time job in itself and can take a toll on, on people's physical and mental health. In short, moms sacrifice in many different ways to provide for their families and ensure their well-being. Their love and dedication are often taken for granted, but it's important for us to recognize and appreciate all that they do. Now, I don't know about you, but I probably didn't appreciate all the stuff that my mom did for me when I was growing up. But now looking up and raising my own kids and into adulthood, boy, I'm in awe of all the stuff that moms have to do in order to even get the kids out the door to go to school each day. Right, but <coughs> our moms, are imperfect people like us. They're going to have bad days. They're going to have problems in a relationship just like everybody else, right? But that doesn't mean that we don't love them, right? Today is Mother's Day. Being a mom is really intense. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that we never know about until we become a parent ourselves. Right? Because being a mom, it doesn't pay well. And there's very little gratitude or recognition for the job. So today, we can say thank you to our moms for everything they did for us while we were children, even if we we're adults. Right? That'll mean a lot to our moms. Today, we've seen that there are many ways that we can honor our moms according to God's word. We can honor them with respect, time, love, and recognition. If you don't have a plan 
as to how you're going to spend the rest of the day, think about one of the four main points that we talked about. Showing respect, time, love, or recognition. And let's make an effort, not only today on Mother's Day, but every day of our lives to show mom the honor and respect that they deserve. And, and let's remember that when we honor our moms, we are also honoring God who created our moms in us. And the moms are such a great blessing to each and every one of us. So today, I want to say thank you to all your moms that are here with us today and those who are watching on YouTube. And we need to be thankful not just today, but every day for all that they did because we would not be here today if it wasn't for our moms. Let us end in an attitude of prayer. Dear God, we thank you for our moms and the other people in our lives who played the role of mom, whether it's a stepmom or an aunt or even a sister or whoever it may be. We thank you for them. We thank you for the sacrifices that they made so that we could be here today. And we thank you that, that you love us so much that you blessed us by giving us the mother that you did. We thank you for, for that love. We thank you for that blessing. We want to praise you and thank you in all that we do. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day, and I hope you celebrate with your mom.